All right, welcome back to the road to SSL. We're on to episode number 12 for today. And in the last episode, we finally reached Grand Champion 1. So we're in the final three ranks before SSL. Uh, it's been a really exciting series so far. I think it's going to slow down quite a bit now. And we might have more wins and losses uh, here and there. But I really enjoyed the last episode. We had our first loss for a while. And uh, it definitely showed how to adapt around teammates and what may or may not work. But of course, before we jump into the next episodes and discuss what we need to do in Grand Champ 1 moving forwards, we have to do the meme comment of the day. And today, Austin's suggestion of apparently jacked. It's pretty hilarious one i think it's gonna turn out really good let's see how it goes all right another pretty basic one here but we've got a well a very fit guy <laughs> and we have apparently jack so all i gotta do is blend in apparently jack with the guy you know the vibes here we go so i'm gonna start with grabbing apparently jack's head i'm not sure if i want to like completely remove the old guy's head i might just remove the other guy's head and sort of match up the size all right so i think this is a single color in the background so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab the the uh the guy here and just eliminate his head i think i can just paint over it's similar enough i can blend it in later if i want to you know definitely tell there's some discoloration over here but you know i could just blend that in at some point like this it's totally fine that'll do and then we've got his head here um so it looks like i mean his head's like the problem is that Jack doesn't have a wide neck like this dude, but I think that's pretty good placement. And uh, I think we're just going to go in and kind of blend this together. Let's see if I can I need to get like a soft edge. Yeah, his head is huge. <laughs> we're going to leave it. Of course, as always, we got to do the levels here to try and uh, match the color. His head's too big. It's bothering me. I think I just shrink it down a little bit. That's looking a little better, but his neck isn't blended very well. So I think I need to fix that. Maybe I'll grab this layer here. I grab this and then paint up a little bit. And then I'm going to grab this and paint like that. And then I got to go in on this layer and erase a little bit to like blend it in a little better. He has no neck there. So I think I need to stay with that whole thing and grab this layer once again clone stamp where is it it's this guy so i'm just gonna go in here like this and just paint up a bit and then the same thing over here i'm going to grab this part and paint that in there it's looking it's looking pretty good i think the color is a little bit off on his face though so let's see if i can mess with it why am i spending so much time on this i mean i'm, I'm actually having a lot of fun this is kind of funny Honestly, I'm happy with it. All right, there it is. Thank you so much to Austin for the recommendation. If you want to be the next meme comment of the day, drop a comment of your favorite pun. And uh, if I see it, I'll do it. But now let's get into the games. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, game number one, we got Kodai or Ko Koday. Uh, we got Willy and O2. Let's see if uh, the players can uh, move fast around the field like last time. Like last episode, we actually had a lot of fast moving players. So I know people have com been comparing different skill levels of players and i really think it has to do with like the time of day that you're playing uh different players are on like i think during the, the weekends you're gonna have players who maybe aren't aren't as uh aren't as old whereas during the weekdays i have no idea maybe maybe i'm thinking the opposite way but that's a really good shot there um i think the guy did the guy own goal i was just oh no he did own goal oh i, was, I didn't even register that in my head i was trying to figure out what to say about uh, like different times of day. Like I find that when I play earlier in the day, uh, it's a different vibe than when it's at night. And that's just even even at high SSL. So right here, I'm going to go on backboard. I'm definitely going to be there before the other player. And if you're good enough, you can follow up the touch with uh, the touch you made out to the sidewall. The way that you want to make those touches is to clear it towards the same uh, trajectory of your car. Good speed from Kodai. I'm going to wait in mid here. I shot down the field too. O2 has some space. So he tries to grab it. He does a really good job of controlling it. So I can't really challenge yet. I'm going to just try and force him out. Now the, now the guy flipped the ball away. Let's see what happens here. Good touch from my teammate. This guy made a, a big mistake. So I can push up on this and try to make him panic. Try to stay close to this. One guy's challenging. I'm going to try and get behind my teammate as soon as possible. And get ready for his next shot. So really good clear. Really good save though. What a save. So this guy has a dribble right there. That was definitely an opportunity to challenge. But now he popped it towards the back wall. I can follow it up right there. They're on the back foot right now. So it's best if I go in and challenge this ball. And then touch it again. After I clear it to the side. Willie got a good demo. So now I can sit in mid. There's a guy challenging the corner. Really good touch when he's back. Back off the side there. There's a chance here to go for the shot. 
I'm gonna try and go for it off the side, but definitely the more the more you go towards angle of the goal there, the better. Um, and obviously it's gonna go off the backboard, and my teammate tried to cover it really early there. I probably could have recovered if he stalled a little longer, but he ended up trying to do like a backwards uh, challenge, and that's one of those things where like if I go for the shot and miss, it's gonna be an instant um, attack for them on the back end. I'm gonna go for their corner instead because my teammate can go for the mid. If I go for the mid, then it makes my teammate have to sit in mid with nothing. All right, so once again a, ch a chance here. I'm gonna go more more towards target this time. Good save. I'm under the ball right now, but this guy's got a uh, very low boost. So I'm just gonna force this guy out and then take the mid boost. It's a decent pop to the side. This guy doesn't challenge on the middle there. So it's good of him to wait. Right here I can attack fast and maybe hit down the field. Good try for my teammate to finish that off. It could still be 0-2 here, so I'm just gonna wait for the clear. And now he let go of the ball and I can pop it to the side wall. Now I could jump up for this, but the guy's already jumping and I could definitely beat him if I go early, but is it really worth it? You decide. This is a little dangerous, but I saw that he was still in the middle of recovering from his flip. So that's why I'm going to go as soon as possible. But if I, if I hesitate at all there, it's going to be t uh, trouble for me. So Kodai's going to pop it across. Looks like my teammate's ready for it on the side here. Maybe a pass middle again. Once I get another solo play, it works out this time. But like I'm still sitting there ready for anything to spill out to me. And yeah, 2v2 is a little dangerous to make a midfield pass. But as O2 is sitting there at the, the side of the net... There's definitely opportunities for him to throw that mid, mid to me. But yeah, like I said, it is an overcommit a little bit if it doesn't go well. But I am in a sitting in a very open position. It's all about wh whether or not you're near the opponents or not. So I'm just making sure I'm in a comfortable spot to support my team. And here, I'm still last. So I got to wait for his flip. There it is. And now I have some space. Now, better players will definitely hold on to that more. Um, and make sure they can't even... I'm going to pinch this with this guy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm trying to do. Better players will definitely keep that ball close. So I go for a 50 off of my, my teammate's flip uh, like flip, flip challenge or whatever that was. Uh, my teammate is dead. Now it really depends on where my teammate spawns on this side, but he might pinch it. So I'm just waiting for it in a good spacious area. I don't want to go too close to that guy. <laughs> that guy just ramped off of me. I don't know what just happened. I'm going to sit, sit close to the ball though. I get, might get demoed here. I'm going to bump them if I can. Good challenge for my teammate. Almost in the net once again. That's too... Two goals that have been off the bar. A good challenge as well. This guy might go for the ball again, so I'm just going to try and bump him. My teammate got in the way. It's good. Good touch. I can go for this now. They're they're a little scared to go, but I also got the mid boost as well. I don't think my teammate's going to be in mid quite yet, so I'm just going to delay this. Try to pop it around him. Good touch. And O2 follows as well. I'm bumping this guy. It's a good demo from them. Hopefully my teammate can stay close, but unfortunately he gets demoed as well. Now this guy is pre-jumping. He almost got it too. That was a really good. That was a decent pre-jump. A pass across. I'm gonna go for a pop immediately. I definitely could catch that or go for a shot or whatever. I'm just gonna pop it forward. We're up one goal. We're in a comfortable position. Don't want to overcommit. That's a great shot for my teammate. So overall, like really, really good positioning. We can see that the uh, play is definitely ele elevating through the series as we go through each game, and uh, you can definitely tell that each rank has a very like. I would. I. You can't really. It's a, obviously a small sample size based on like one teammate, but. Overall, you can tell the level of play is increasing. So if you feel like you're at a rank that you can't progress, there's probably something you need to be doing differently that you need to be adapting to uh, to level up. And uh, even my teammate was actually champ three and he played really well. Let's move on to the next game. See how it goes. All right, we have game number two. There's been a hair in my mouth <laughs> since the beginning of game one and I can't find it. It is just stuck in my mouth. I don't know what's happening, but here I am. I'm still going, going strong. We've got a 1236 in our lobby here. Interesting. Could just be a friend he's queuing with or boosting or something. I'm going to go for this immediately. Try and pop this to my teammate. It's that easy. So it's a decent pass, but this guy's going to cut it off. Like, it's a good idea if the, it was closer and there was nobody there. But I know there's a player, like, sitting there just based on, like, looking around the positioning. Now, this guy's challenge is in the corner. It's going to be dangerous for him. So I'm just going to pop it over him and, tr and force him into a touch. So my teammate pushed up a little bit, but he, he was ready for that, that touch. This is a little bit awkward, but it works out. I see there's some space for me to go for this challenge. See if that, it's that easy. Goes for it. It's a really good touch to bring it to space. I like that he goes across the opposite side. All right, so I boom it out. Now I have space to boom it up to my teammate. And maybe he can finish it. Great shot. There we go. So I definitely could have placed that a little bit more left, but it was good enough because the player who was on the, the net right there actually turned around. So when I saw that, I could boom it forward. And it gives him a great opportunity to redirect that onto the net. Shoot that on target is going to make the guy in net jump. But because it's off target, he's like thinking a little bit more about 
whether he should go right away. And that hesitation is probably going to give us an opportunity to shoot. All right, good touch. I probably didn't need to take that mid boost, but my teammate's going for it again. So I'm just going to wait. Once again, I'm going to wait here because the other opponent has the touch. I actually over my head, so I'm going to leave it for my teammate to go a little bit earlier. And unfortunately, yeah, I probably should have just backed off a little bit more. It was awkward because there was so much time for this guy on the ball and my team was still at mid. So I was trying to position in a spot where I could stay back. He says my bad, but honestly, I could have positioned further. All right, this guy's going to be up for the ball here. He booms it right away. I actually really like that he booms it. Like, not not like that I like it uh, for a good strategy. It's actually a really bad strategy. That's an interesting back pass. <laughs> you know, it actually worked out pretty well. I'm going backboard here. This guy might miss and I can go for a shot. The guy saves it, but it should be time for my teammate off this ball. It does get dunked, so it's a little dangerous. He's up for it, though. Oh, that's an interesting touch. I like it. The other guy barreled in, even though he saw me in front of him. So definitely some space here for the ball. I'm going to chip this around this one guy. Ends up going for it anyway. Oh, big miss for my teammate. This guy's going to turn on it. That's fine. So once again, I'm just trying to stay close around this guy. I'm just trying to play the small ball. My teammate wants to cut in front, which is fine. I'm just going to stay patient. I'm going to pop this around this guy so it goes towards the side. And as you can see, this gives me a little bit of space on the wall. I'm gonna, this guy actually goes, but it's not a big deal. I'm going to fake this, and then I'm going to stay close. He goes, but once again, we get pressure up field. See if we can catch it. That's decent play, and I'm going to go for the shot. So the second that I made that play to, to block this player, I, I actually pump faked on the wall. I got one player to the game, then I faked the touch because I he has to respect it as last man. So I'm sitting near the ball. And in doing so, I gave myself a lot of space to flick it over him. And then I... Oh, he's faking. Okay. That's a good play. Now, I meant to, me I made it, meant to make that touch so I could follow up with the boost but I ended up popping it a little bit too far behind let's see if my teammate goes for this so it does bump both players are committed though so I'm gonna pop this off the corner and I'm actually not gonna go for this myself my teammate bails the whole way but I'm gonna pass this back hopefully that's not, not an own goal um but he could have definitely turned in with a couple boost pads to follow up my touch off the corner I'm gonna go right away it's a little bit like it's not unorthodox it's actually a good play when they're not expecting it because they don't have full control yet um but sometimes like going for those early touches it's going to be good. As you can see, it just pops one player out of the game. Needs to be my teammate here, though. Put it in the corner. Ends up missing, which is going to be dangerous, and I own goal. <laughs> Technically, it should have just been in because that guy, like, my teammate missed in a touch that he really should have be, should be making to the corner. But he, he tried to arrow for it, missed off the backboard. I'm not sure if he was trying to, like, catch it off the backboard, but he just messed up the read. It's all good, though. All right, so we got some space. One touch here and then immediate chip shot. It's going to be really good. Even though it's off the bar, it's a really good opportunity to like, go for those, like, quick chip shots when you got space off the opponent cheating this guy might just pass the ball right to me which he does i'll pop off the backboard see what they do he's defaulting to net so i'm just gonna go for a low hit see if my teammate can steal the boost and go for the ball he went really wide he definitely could have stayed with the ball i'm gonna be careful here in case my teammate stays in the corner which looks like he's trying to i have 41 boost i could go up for that but at the same time this guy might make a touch where i can follow it up afterwards the guy misses so now i'm forward see if he can boom it up boom it up to me he goes for a dribble as last man which is okay he does take out one of the game but if that went wrong, it could be really bad for us. But this should be open for us. Really good finish. Well played. So good good fake play after the first out play. So he gets one player out of the game with that flick. And the other guy barrels in. It's, it's that easy, honestly. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm ashamed of that one. I'm sorry. I'm going to cheat up here slightly. I'm just going to go past the one boost so I have 45. And there we go. I have, I have the ball first. I'm just going to move it towards target. The guy waits. So I'm gonna try and go for a fake play. I actually go for like a bit of a backflip. Um, it's like kind of a weird play, but at the same time, like I'm gonna get challenged here and I don't want to fully commit into the net. So it ends up feeding it right to uh, my teammate. And he makes a pretty good shot over the other guy. Go for a challenge here. Obviously, it's a kickoff. I don't know why I said that. I say that a lot in this series. I'm like, I'm gonna go for a challenge. It's like mid. Okay, that's a really good pass. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop it off the sidewall instead and try to follow it up. It's not the greatest play because the opponent was ready for it, but oh, this could be dangerous. Yeah, so that way that my teammate just like chipped it into mid, it could go wrong if they challenge early. Now I'm going to wait for my teammate to get behind me for a little bit. It was a really good play from them. My teammate um, went for like an early, early uh, chip right here. Definitely a little aggressive. So I have to cover a lot and that was a really good midfield pass. See how, see how much space there is. I have to cover the net in case he goes for a flick. But because of the fact that I was alone for so long, you can use the space in mid to go for that play. They're probably communicating that too because they are together and they're under the same name Frog. <laughs> but so far, so good. Oh, that's not a good touch at all. Over the net, so it's all good. Oh, he left the ball. He definitely didn't need to go for the the mid boost or the corner boost after the touch. 
So they're communicating. I can say they're communicating the plays that they're making. I'm going to go for a touch here. This guy's going for a very aggressive, very aggressive play. I stay close here. So both of them are trying to cover the position. They end up bumping me as well. Looks like my teammate's a little bit worried about the shot. There we go. Good. I'm going to go behind him and not just not just cut in there and may take over the ball. It's a decent play, but they're going to be there first. So I'm just getting ready for it. Now I pop it off the corner, but they're going to have it first. As you can see, I'm returning the possession. I'm going to go for an immediate challenge because he, once again, didn't have full control. On the way behind here. Good challenge for my teammate. I'm up early because this guy's going to jump up for it. Go for the shot. Maybe my teammate can finish it. Nice finish. So as you can see, people do have control. I would say like the biggest thing is like just decision making on certain thing. Uh, certain things in the game are not quite there. But as you go up in the ranks, you're going to find that that becomes more and more clear that people are, are faster and making faster decisions. So once again, not playing the fastest on my end. Still just trying to play a good position. And uh, it's working out so well, uh, well so far. And uh, we're at Division 2. There's a lot of times in this series where I have possession in a spot where I could definitely make a really good play and I could dribble. And I probably should show more that you can do that. Because um, for a lot of the times, I've been booming the ball in a position where like I have possession. And right here, like this guy could challenge. I'm going to go to the wall and keep it close. Bump this guy off and keep it close to my teammate. Stuff like this where it's really, really dangerous for the opponent. Really good cut from, from Ostrich Glue. <laughs> what is that name? Okay, my teammate's not turning, so I'm going to go in for him. Uh, he definitely could have turned there for me, but either way, it's all good. Let's see what Bill does. He misses, but he can still have it. All right, good patience for my teammate. I'll wait for the touch from them. They boot off the off the car. He's panicking, and he bumped me into it. I didn't even mean to score that. That was just a, <laughs> a weird bump. So good force for my teammate. Already confused, not going to lie. Yeah, me too. I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to be them, but good positioning for my teammate. It does go right back to Ostrich, but uh, they, you can see that one player uh, committed. And once again, that guy made made a flick touch, and he immediately let go let go of the ball after his flick. So I can just go for the touch. See if my teammate wants it. He might get bumped here. <laughs> <laughs> he just stopped moving. Or she. You know, it could be a she. It's Lily. All right, so this is awkward here. So he goes for an early shot. I'm going to read this off the backboard uh, as soon as I get, get the bounce. See if Osher makes, makes a touch. So they're trying for something mid here. And Bill is ready for it. I'm just letting them make the touches because as you can see, there's space. I can pop this up. Go for an early follow-up. It's towards target, but it should be Bill to save it. See if Lily wants to turn in here. I'm not going to go for that until there's more space in the ball. Yeah, that's interesting. I grabbed the mid. I probably should have left that for my teammate, but I was afraid the other team was the other team was gonna get it. Now, this is a little bit awkward. So immediately when I see that, I'm gonna get out of the play. The second I make like a missed touch or like in a spot where they could challenge, I'm gonna force this by like see how I can sit behind the ball. He has to do something, and then I can stay with it here. And there we go. So me being near the ball, but they're backwards. They can't turn around in time for them to make a play. So instead, what they do is they try to backflip. But I'm spacing myself outside of the ball. And this is a game where I'm trying to show you that you can use the dribbles to your advantage and, and make it really awkward for the opponents. Even though you're you're near the ball, but you're not actually doing anything. This guy's going to steal the boost, but in doing so, he gives me space to stay on the ball instead. Let's see if Lily makes a touch. L looks like Lily might stay with it, so I'm just going to wait for, for them. And they do. They need boost, but they can pop it across. Go for a shot. Could be a save. Good save. Lily got mid boost now, so they have space from the mid. Decent try. It's going to be Ostrich here. Got to be patient. Now I'm going to touch this softly so it bounces back to mid and I can go for a 50. That could be awkward. Hopefully Lily makes a touch. Good job. Off the wall. And once again, it's open as long as I shoot that towards the net. And uh, we find the space off of that back backboard touch. Yeah, they say unfortunate. He says unfortunate because like I feel like there were certain plays where they were making good options. They were taking good options as, as the uh, orange team. But I, I definitely just recognize open space and found those dribbles. I think I played a little bit too fast for that one. But I was trying to show that using those dribbles is really going to, you know, elevate your play where you can make it really, really difficult for the opponents. Now for the last game, we got Lily again. They're 1494, so they're they're about the same uh, rank as me so far. So they're Division 2, but they're actually playing really well. Wait, Gooey Gooey. Didn't we have this guy before? Or no, he's Louie Gooey. <laughs> I think it was Louie Gooey. 
This guy might challenge. He didn't challenge. I, d I definitely just shouldn't have flicked as early as I did. But I'm watching my teammate to see what he wants to do there. It's over my head. So as I flip back, you can see I'm grabbing like like one or two pads. This guy might have a dribble here. He ends up popping it. It's not on target right now, so I can just wait for him to do something. He ends up popping it at mid. It's a good shot for my teammate in net. Nice. So I was on backboard in case anything went wrong or high. Go for a shot up the field. Now Aaron's a little bit slow to get to there, so they might miss it. Going for Gooey Gooey. That's mid. Lily might turn. Good pop. See if Gooey Gooey goes for it. Now this is an open shot. I can go for a clear. So I'm just surveying the land. I'm just watching for an open shot, open opportunity. That was a really good setup for my teammate, though. Really good follow up. Bad 50 50 from Gooey Gooey, but I, I don't know if I respect the. Uh, I can respect it, but I don't know if I like the uh, the squishy save option there. Now this is awkward. They might go for a shot immediately. They do miss. So I'm just going to go for a pop. And really good of Gooey not to go for the, the touch there. But I'm just going to try and force the ball, or force the play, see if Gooey. <laughs> see if Lily goes for the ball now I've talked about this before if you try to go around the ball and try to lead it immediately back onto their side you might put yourself in a situation where they dunk you or something so I'm just gonna take it back instead find some space especially with the goal up and still with this much time on the game even if we were if we even if we were down a goal I would still take that back for control it's a good shot towards the net I could turn on this really fast or I could wait for their touch Aaron's gonna have it next because that guy missed and just because that guy misses doesn't mean you can immediately think that you're going to go next because the opponent is also watching their teammate and trying to jump on the next opportunity. And you can see they're very, very fast to that. I'm going to go around this guy. He ends up bumping me, but I can stay with this and just be annoying. If I go for a barrel challenge into the cor into the net of the, of the opponents when there's not like a clear shot, I'm just going to be sent into the net. Okay, this guy is playing small ball, which is fine a good save but i kind of put my teammates in an awkward spot here good clear though that's off the side let's see what they do here now i have a shot opportunity to go for the the shot and gooey's in an awkward spot if i pushed up right away and chase that down into the net gooey's gonna beat me he's in front of me so instead what i do is i just sit in front wait for the uh, opportunity to strike and i find the spot and they end up leaving again i mean i'm not sure why they left so early it's only two goals and they had some good opportunities they almost they almost scored once but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's um that was definitely a, a more interesting uh sad day for who? Oh. <laughs> you knew? No way. Uh, <laughs> uh well. Well, either way. Hope you guys enjoyed like I said. Until next time, have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one.